we are Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah, Nigeria, um, precisely Anambra State. Actually, we have um, from Dr. Rika Fodo, uh -huh. she introduced us to an opportunity like this. Was there any armed conflict? I know in Nigeria there are so many conflicts between the Islamist remix and, and so on. Yeah, there is. It has been there even since uh, before we were born. You know, Nigeria is not fully a Christian country. Yeah, no, it's 50-50. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so a lot of conflict between the Muslims and the Christians that um, um, many times have led to killings and um, persecution of Christians and the rest of them. So it's actually not a very safe country anyway. Uh, these conflicts made it impossible for you to, to stay there or your family stay there or the learning? Yes, actually for me. Because yes. I grew up in the north, I was born and brought up in the northern part of Nigeria. Uh -huh. So um, the whole conflict actually started in 2006, February 18. And then it became so terrible that we couldn't stay there, but we, we succeeded to stay there till 2013, mm -hmm. when we came back to the eastern part, that's to the village. Yes, Because the whole crisis was terrible burnt a lot of houses, killed a lot of students. I lost a lot of my classmates during this period. And then it was not really easy for us. They burnt our house, a lot of things. It was so, so, so tragic. Nursing, nursing and patient care nurse in University of Seged. These are some kind of skills you will get to use in Nigeria when you get home. Sure, sure. And did you manage to get to know people? I know Hungarians are a bit close because of the COVID, but um, you made any friendship? Yeah, oh, a lot. A lot. A lot. Really? They are lovely people here, very, very really. accommodating. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. To very be happy here. to see us, so we made a lot of a friends. A lot of friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, I hope to travel in between the four years of my study uh -huh. because my mom, actually, she's not in a good shape. I mean, she's not so healthy. And um, I'm her nurse, you know, so I need to go back from time to time to check up on her. So Yeah, the same for me. I would be glad if I can be able to go back within these four years mm -hmm. because um, I would like to see my family. Though we communicate on the phone now, not so much, but I would be happy if I can be able to go back and see them. It's like um, a lifesaver, you know, giving opportunity to you know, us, yes. giving hope to us, because we never thought in this um, entire life that we could get a scholarship like this to come here to study. So it really means a lot, a I lot. I would never have imagined my life to be this better. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle that I'm here, so I'm very, very happy. I'm glad. I'm glad because this opportunity is a lifetime opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be here. It means a lot to me. So after our program, after the four-year program, mm. uh, I wish to go back to Nigeria. You know, the Nigerian healthcare sector, it's very not good. So with the knowledge I must have gathered here after the four, year, four years, I wish to go back to Nigeria and impact those knowledge to the nurses there. By so doing, we can be able to raise the healthcare sector to a considerable standard. My, I have just a very short message, and that message is to keep on the good work and that God will bless them abundantly in every part of their life, you understand? So that's my message for them. So just my message to all the good short. people of Hungary, the Christians, is for them never to lose faith. They should hope in God because for me to be here, it's a miracle because I have a very strong faith in Christ and then I want to tell them that with God all things are possible so they should keep their faith in Christ strongly and I really appreciate everything they have done. Like They have been so kind to me since I came to this country. I never imagined it would be this way. So God should keep blessing them. Thank you. <laughs>